Hi, welcome to my channel. So I am Queen Bonnie, um, and today I am excited because I want to talk to you guys about um, this herbal detox that I am getting ready to try for the first time. And so, as everyone knows, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and so a lot of women also have polycystic ovarian syndrome and I I've been following this young lady named Destiny um, she's based in Cincinnati Ohio so before I even moved back to Cincinnati I was following her um, what, what basically what she does is she educates women on the yoni the womb and also males um she has detoxes for the yoni our womb and also for males um so it's really interesting i met up with her a couple days ago and i talked to her for like two hours <laughs> it felt like i was talking to her forever i felt so bad because she's pregnant and she also has pcos and she's due like any day now. So, um, what did I do with that package? So she's like nine months pregnant. She's due any day now. And so she was telling me her story and how she got into um, learning about herbal treatment, um, to how to heal yourself naturally and she was telling me her her health journey she lost she, well she was 412 pounds and before she got pregnant she was 180 pounds so congratulations to you sip sip like that is amazing um so and she looked phenomenal so she's she did it in a healthy way um i didn't really specifically ask her what she did to lose the weight i was just so just kind of just um being a student, I was just listening to everything that she was telling me because she had a lot of great information. And so I was kind of just trying to soak in as much as possible so that when I came on here to make my video, um, I was able to give you guys a lot of great information. So I'm super excited to try this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put her information in the description for you guys she has a facebook page um, she has a website so you can order products if you're interested so you can try it yourself and see if you like it um but before you even do all of that i want to try it myself so i can let you know uh, how it affected me so there's a couple things about this so this is a detox pearl um so all it is is like cheesecloth and it has the herb wrap it has the herb wrapped up inside the cheesecloth and then it has a long string. So you want to insert it inside of the yoni all the way to uh, the cervix. You have to make sure that you reach the cervix. So you have to make sure you get it all the way up there because um, she was like emphasizing on this part because if you don't push it up far, far enough, it's not really, the herbs are not really able to reach the places that they need to reach to pull out the toxins. So it makes sense. I mean, um, yeah, so I, we, we as women shouldn't have a problem doing that, especially if you, you know, have already started your menstrual cycle. So um, it's tiny. It's a little tiny ball. Like, it's tiny. So it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not going to be hard for you to, to, to insert it at all so um there's herbs wrapped up inside put it in there so she, i asked her so how, do, how long do you keep it in there and she's like i leave it in there until it falls out naturally max seven days and i'm like okay that's what i'll do so um i'm gonna do it today um today is I believe it's May 29th now. Yep, it's Friday, May 29th. So I'm going to go ahead and do it today. So 10 days from today, um, or seven days from today, or whenever it falls out. And then um, 
she said that it's a 10 day process though so you're detoxing for 10 days so even after you take it out you're still going to be detoxing days after that <clears throat> so i'm excited to see what happens i've seen pictures of results her results personally because remember i said she already has she has pcos as well um and you can actually see like the mucus the cyst broke broken up inside and coming out with the with the the ball that you it, it, it it's amazing to me uh first of all, I, I, some people they're gonna probably think it's gross but for me i'm amazed to see i want to see it like because i can feel it so to be able to see it that would be amazing i don't know but maybe i'm weird i'm just nasty like that i'm not almost natural almost yet or it's actually not natural i want to see it like it's really ah but i'm you know you know how we are different so let me show you guys what it looks like a tiny little ball and it's wrapped up in the string so I'm gonna unravel of course before I insert but it's tiny so that's gonna be chilling up there for about a week or so and um, yeah and when it comes out it's gonna be pulling the toxins out so the mucus there's gonna be um, old skin there's going to be flesh there's going to be tissue that comes out old tissue uh she was saying that the tissue gets super hard and like callous almost so the herbs are going to soften them up and they're they, it'll be able to come out so that the um the so that you can flush naturally as you're supposed to um and so i'm excited to see especially with the pictures that i've seen and like i know for a fact that i have sis i can feel it like i can feel it so um you cannot have sex while you're using the pearl of course you're detoxing so um she said warning you know you cannot have sex while detoxing with pearls your vagina will be releasing toxic waste so you don't want to have sex um having sex will transfer the waste to your partner during intercourse and you don't want to do that so if there's if you if you do have you know some type of bacteria or whatever going on inside of there like you don't want to give it to your partner and then your partner just transfers it right back to you because that's how that works so just you guys gonna have to hold off for about 10 days um <laughs> you can do it um let's see what else did i get here also she created a detox water sip sip you should be drinking your water anyway but she has a special little water for you guys um mint cucumber apple and lemon i would take out the lemon and put lime instead only because the lime is naturally alkaline and the lemon has a high um uh it's, it's too acidy too acidic so um I would replace the lemon with lime but mint cucumber apple and lime or she said lemon um water is essential when detoxing using the yoni pearls or yoni steaming it helps to expel and cleanse out the toxins don't i say that all the time like y'all i don't know come on now it only makes sense logically remember when i did the yoni steam oh that thing was amazing i can only imagine how this is about to be um you want to stay away from alcohol you have to stay hydrated caffeine will dry you out uh coffee naturally dries you out anyway so you want to stay away from that anyway um as much as possible i would prefer you to drink tea non-caffeinated if possible you don't really need it i don't anyway but <laughs> So she said, drink a little bit more water than usual. I mean, we should be pretty hydrated. So, but if you're not, then do what she says because she knows. And if you're not properly hydrated and you get dehydrated and you cramp, they will be um, very heightened, okay? Um, your pain will be excruciating versus regular because you're dehydrated. It heightens, I'm telling you from experience okay sip sip all right um what else 
what else did I get T for you guys? Ooh, so a couple more things and I'm gonna let you go because I wanna go ahead and pop it in. All right, foods to avoid while detoxing using the Yoni Cleanse Detox Pearls. She also has specific pearls for PCOS. All right, this right, what I'm doing is just a general detox, actually, but I did the seven day cleanse. Now I'm just doing this for 10 days. So no intimacy or any of that. It's a cleanse, you know, and I probably will do a fast during this cleanse anyway, just because it feels right. You know, I want to get out as much as I possibly can. So, um, but foods to avoid bread, all right, carbs, pasta carbs, sugar, sugar, um, pops, sodas, coffee, we already mentioned that, french fries, potatoes, starch, sugar. You know, if you have PCOS, we have a insulin resistance, right? So um, that's why we are more prone to get diabetes and have weight issues, right? So what she's basically saying is Stay away from the sugar. Give your body a chance to rest and heal while you're detoxing the yummy. Let her breathe. She deserves it. Um, so I'm excited. I'm about to pop it in. Um, I'm going to make a video in 10 days to let you guys know how it, how what, what, what happened with me. Um, I will take pictures of my results. I don't know if I'm going to post it on here yet uh, just because... I don't know if y'all want to see that, but I do. So let me know if you want to see it. Okay, let me know if you have any questions for me in the meantime. But yeah, till we meet again. Sip, sip. I love you. And remember, self-love is the best love. And without loving yourself first, you can't love me, so you can't love anyone else. So, but I just remember, I love you. Sip, sip. <laughs>